What is going on guys? Welcome to your 35th Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're finally going to be using that cool robot I told you guys about and it actually probably isn't as cool as those robots you see on TV but it's pretty much um, is the same essential thing. A robot is something that does something for you and our robot is going to take our mouse cursor and move it to the center of a screen because we are too lazy to. So let's go ahead and add a little recenter the mouse using robot. That's a nice little comment. I only got one thing misspelled. And now let's go ahead and make a method on this. So it's going to be, of course, be private, synchronized, so nothing can run at the same time. Void in, we have to name it recenter mouse. Now you, should, you can actually name it something different, but we already named our method up here, recenter mouse. So let's go ahead, and it's not going to take any parameters. Just going to be a little powerhouse that does something. And now let's go ahead and building this. The very first thing we need is our window object. So window w equals s dot get full screen window. And now w is equal to our entire screen. And now let's do a little check. If robot is not equal to null, so this makes sure that we set it equal to something which we did right here. Robot equals new robot. Pretty much make sure it's set equal to an object. And um, window dot is showing right here so if we have our window popped up and our robot is equal to an object now we can continue what do we want to do well what we want to do first is we need to find the center of our screen because we're going to be telling our mouse to move the center of the screen and if we don't have a center of our screen our mouse is going to be like dude you don't even have a center of our screen and you're telling me to move there seriously so we don't want our mouse to get that attitude with us. So let's go ahead and find center of X. And how would we find the center of our screen X location? Well, what we can do is take the window dot get width. And now that we have our entires in our windows entire width, all we have to do is divide by two. And that two is going to give us after we make this a method. And when we divide by two, we pretty much take the width and split it in half. So that's the Windows X center. So now, of course, we need to do this with Y. So center Y equals window dot get height. Don't forget to put height right here and put two. And this is going to take the height right here and it's going to find the center of it. So it's going to take the height and split it in two and bam, you got your center. So now what we need to do is a couple more weird things. Swing utilities till I tease convert I need to type this slow before I teach you convert point to screen where are you convert point to screen alright now that I got that typed and it took me a long time without any um typos here's what we need to do put center which is pretty much that center point on your screen and for your argument one put window right here and now let me tell you guys what this method does this is a built-in method convert point to screen and what this does is it first takes your point object right here and it converts it to the coordinates on this component right here so this is how it can pretty much be compatible with every screen it takes your center and converts it to the coordinates on this so it's pretty much just a coordinate converter that's all it is and now what we need to do is remember we had that boolean method called centering and it's set equal to false. Well, if we're running the recenter mouse, then this method probably is true. So, and by probably I mean it is. Centering equals true. So only when we're running this method is centering true because if we're running this method, then our mouse is trying to center. So that's why we need to change that. And now, last but not all, last but not least, I mean, last but not all, oh, that's embarrassing. We can use our robot. So now with our robot, we're going to say, all right, we are too lazy to move the mouse ourselves. So we're going to put mouse move. You do it for us. Move it to the center of the screen X position and also the center of the screen Y position. So now it's going to take our mouse and move it in the dead middle of the screen right here. So that's pretty much exactly what we want to do. And this is a way aside from moving your mouse manually in the middle of the screen we can get robots to do it for us so if we could only get this robot to build the rest of our program for us we would be in good shape well we can't so we're going to go ahead and continue in making it ourselves 
system. Now all we need to do for the rest of this tutorial is implement our methods from the interface mouse motion listener and key listener right there because we want to get rid of this dumb little error right here that says add unimplemented methods right there. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, first one, let's go mouse motion listener methods. And for some reason I spelled all oh, my comments are wrong. I don't know why, but public void can't spell that wrong. Public void mouse dragged not drags. And this is gonna take mouse event E. And all we're gonna do on this method is if we're dragging the mouse, just call mouse move method and pass it in because we don't want to have to write the same code again so we're pretty much just going to take this parameter e and pass it into this method right here which is public synchronized void mouse moved mouse events e right there so now no matter if you drag your mouse or remove your mouse this is the code that's going to happen and I'll write it if I have time so first we want to check, all right, if your mouse is centering, let me spell that right, yep. If your mouse is centering and the center.x is equal to the mouse.getx, and typo so far, all right, good. And center.y is equal to e.gety, what do we want to do? And first of all, for right what do we want to do you're wondering all right what does this mean if it's centering and the center point on your screen is equal to where your mouse is and the center point on your screen is equal to where your mouse is then that means that your mouse is already in the center of your screen so in this case we want to take centering and set it equal to false so if your mouse once your mouse hits the middle of the screen we're done centering, we don't need to do it anymore. It can be false. But what if your mouse is not in the middle of your screen? What do you want to do? So let's go ahead and make a little else. And we can make code. int dx equals e dot get x minus mouse dot x. Now, now that I don't have any typos, I can explain this. dx is pretty much the distance your mouse move it's pretty much where the mouse is right now from where it was last time so then you get the difference in of x so now we need to do it for y so int dy and set it equal to e dot get y minus mouse dot y right there easy enough so now what we want to do is now that we found the difference we want to actually change the image that much. So image dot x plus equal to dx and image dot y is plus equal to dy. Simple enough. And now what we want to call is recenter mouse. We want to call that recenter method again, just in case. And now after this, we need to change our mouse parameters. Since the mouse, the x point is now equal to where the mouse is right now, e dot get uh, that would be x for x and mouse dot y is equal to where your mouse is dot get y so once we're doing everything we need to do move the image appropriately what we want to do is set our mouse points x and y equal to where the mouse actually is e and that e is the event that just happened so that's a lot of uh, information. In the last tutorial, I'm going to be building one last key press method, and we're going to be going over this baby and watching it run. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.